Hello. Hello everyone. Thank you for joining me. I hope you can see me okay. Okay, I'll get started. Um, the reason why I decided to do this uh, live super chat, YouTube super chat, is that recently in my inbox I've been getting one or two questions that I thought I would address in this format as a live um, event and also a Q&A where you can also ask me questions. And what it is about, it's about how to, it's about the truth about do it yourself fashion sewing. Now, there, there are misconceptions that making your own clothes means cheap. And I don't like that. And I'm sure lots of you out there who make your own clothes don't believe that making your own clothes is a cheap option to buying clothes from the high street or wherever. That isn't the case at all. And if you're thinking that is the case, that you want to make your own clothes because it's cheaper, not necessarily so. So the reason why I feel strongly about doing this event is that I want to get that message out there that making your own clothes, consider it as a lifestyle choice and also the fact that you can make beautiful clothing if you make it yourself. And if you're making clothes for yourself, family or friends, you're literally making beautiful clothing and also you're matching up certain clothing that suits your body shape that you may not necessarily necessarily find on the high street. So that's what I'm going to be addressing today. So it's going to be the truth about do-it-yourself fashion sewing. And as I said, the one of the main reasons is that I'm getting a lot of things in my um, inbox that I really want to address. So there's roughly about four things that I'm going to cover. And the first one is going to be beginners, people who want to start sewing. And as I've just mentioned, they think it's a cheaper option to make their own clothing. And I am seriously gonna to have to do some video tutorials in order to educate people out there that making your own clothes isn't an option for making cheaper clothing. So if you are a beginner and you want to learn how to make your own clothes for yourself or perhaps family or friends, or even perhaps even further down the line, you may want to start your own you know, clothing line you really have to understand that the skill level that you will have at the end of that period of you starting to sew is going to be amazing. The skills you're going to need to start sewing is how to use a sewing machine, how to cut your sewing patterns, think about fabric choices. There's so many different elements that you need to learn to understand in order to produce beautiful garments. Now, if, you're, if, if you are in the stage where you desperately want to make your own clothes, I would say start with refashioning old garments. Get a feel for what it's like to transform an old garment into something new. And it can help with the understanding of construction using a sewing machine, refashioning no garment, making it, you know, seeing the transformation of what it was before and what it is now, after. If that is going to be your choice of making, of kind of like refashioning all your own clothes and you don't necessarily want to be making um, projects, then that's fine. It can be a combination of both, which is something that I do, or it can be either or. But I just want to get this misconception out of the way that making your own clothes is meant to be cheaper when that is definitely not the case. You are on a journey of producing beautiful clothing that you cannot get at price point, let's put it this way, in the shops. You can't get beautiful clothing that fits your body shape unless you are that particular body shape of the garment that is being sold in the shop. And hands up, many of us do not fit that body shape of what we find in designers putting out there for us to wear. So as a beginner, start with refashioning projects. And if you're happy with the projects that you're coming up with and you wanna take it that next step further, then it would be a case of thinking about projects and just keep those projects simple. 
but at the same time do challenge yourself. I recommend that you should start with lightweight fabrics that are manageable. And if you do find that there's beautiful fabrics that you must have and you are a beginner, then purchase a fabric and then start a fabric stash as we call it. Um, how you grow that fabric stash, um, whether it's big, medium or small, that's totally up to you. Don't let it get too big um, before you decide that you want to um, start making anything from them. But do buy your fabric because it helps keep you motivated and inspired and eventually as your skill levels grow and you know how to handle different types of fabrics, then you can go into your fabric um, stash or shop in your fabric stash and then you can introduce those fabrics slowly into your project. But start with simple um, fabrics, easy fabrics to sew. And there's two reasons mainly for that. It's easier to sew if you're starting with, um, say like for example, cottons, because it's easier to handle and it also keeps you inspired and motivated. And using cotton fabrics can allow you to um, easily put in, say, insert zips and buttons rather than challenging yourself with something like silk or a very fluid type fabric. Now, the other thing I want to discuss is um, the fashion industry. I just want to touch on this a little bit. I uh, don't, don't want to go in too much depth because I don't want to feel as though I'm... Uh, dissing i'm going to say the fashion industry but i think as you all know there's now a revolution for making your own clothes yes and um we as fashion sewers can help the fashion industry yeah we can help the fashion industry the fashion industry now are are responsible i'll put myself out there and say they are irresponsible in the fact that we are having fast fashion and it's moving too quickly for anyone to enjoy the clothing that they are buying. And we as fashion sewers, if we continue to make our clothes for ourselves and perhaps family and friends, we're slowing down that process. Hence, we are then helping the fashion industry. That's the way I like to think of it. So I want a lot more people to get on board and start sewing their own clothes because you're helping out the fashion industry, you're being motivated and creative, and also it could be a situation of where that can lead to other things. Now, I do believe there is a question. Sally from email asks, I'm a little later on in life contemplating making my own clothes. Where do I start? Okay, so I am thinking that um, it's a situation where you have a little bit of experience and you want to start making your own clothes, I would say plan first. We need to be able to keep ourselves motivated rather than just thinking, I'm gonna buy this pattern because it's popular at the moment and the uh, sewing pattern companies are pushing all sorts of different patterns for us to make up. Plan. The key to successful fashion sewing is to plan your projects. Throughout the year, roughly six to 12 months, you would have some idea of any kind of family events that you go into, then plan for making a project then. Or if you just love to sew, still plan your projects because it helps to keep you motivated. And another question? Sunderson Silk asks, I love to sew and I've been doing it for years, but sometimes my clothes still lack a professional look. Any tips? You know, this is, this is a good one. And um, one of the things that I found time and time again is that people who've been sewn a long time and their clothes look homemade it's because they're not pressing the art of pressing is so so important there's this mantra that's um that goes so press so press that is the secret one of the secrets to making beautiful clothing keep the idea in the back of your head, whenever you sew seams, press. And there is a technique to press, it's not ironing, it's press, so it's an up and down motion. Um, so it's the fashion industry. So I hope that answers your question. Um, the fashion industry um, and how we're helping. We're also helping on the level of um, where we are, with this new technology that's happening, which is amazing, 
we're now getting different body shapes that are showing off the beautiful garments that they're making and we're now getting a little bit of more of a balance of what we see the fashion industry should be doing perhaps are doing but not to a level where we are noticing it so we as fashion sewers are you know we've got our forms up we've got many different beautiful body shapes that are out there who are now um, got a platform in which they can go ahead and show off their projects and it hopefully will inspire and motivate the next generation of friends and families that you have um, in order to make sure that fashion is for everyone. So now that I've got that little rant out of mind for the fashion industry and before I move on to the next section, I just got one more question. Desiree on email asks, what are the best sewing patterns to buy? Ah. Oh, you know, that is a really difficult question because sewing pattern brands, um, and there's lots now, we've got the main four and then we've got um, indie sewing patterns that are coming on on, on, um, on the scene, which is yay, um, and that's brilliant as well. It's, it's, it's difficult to answer because it's all about personal choice. If you're a beginner um, and you're not sure which one to go for, try and have a look. I know it's very hard um, to look at the model on the picture and see if your body shape would suit that garment that she's wearing. And that is probably going to be the best choice. I would say probably get two, perhaps even three different sewing pattern brands and then make your choice of which one you're going to more or less stick with because there is one or two that you probably stick with more than others and that's because that's basically just to do with fit if it fits you well stick with that sewing pattern because they do vary they, they, they all do vary so the next thing um that i wanted to talk about as well and going back to what, what i said earlier about um people contacted me and the reason why i'm doing this um live event is uh, the opportunities that fashion industry has, the sewing industry has. So forget about the fact that the industry, the fashion industry have their own way of doing things and it doesn't seem to be that inclusive as we all know. There's lots of opportunities from for people who are interested in fashion to kind of think about fashion sewing and how they can become pattern um, makers, they can become fashion designers um, within this industry as well, you know, having their own clothing line. Um, they can think about setting up their own sewing business where they're making clothing for people, um, whether they're going to be commissions or, um, um, or not. And um, one that I'm particularly interested in is um, sewing and design schools. So there's lots of opportunity within the sewing industry to expand your skill levels or your ideas about where you could take your skills if you are more intermediate, let's say, and you've built a substantial body of um, projects that you're happy with and you're happy with the skill levels that, um, that you have, then the opportunities that you can set for yourselves to expand the industry because that's what we need to do is to think about you know um, those those opportunities that are out there so i would say that think of sewing as um as a snowball and it's getting bigger and bigger and bigger as more people start to think you know it's amazing to make your own clothes the opportunities that are there is not about making cheap clothing or because clothing at the moment is expensive so you're going for the option of making your own clothes no making your own clothes is amazing you can produce beautiful clothing and also the fact that you can find opportunities within that in order to go in other directions of sewing got one more question brendan asks is it easier to make clothes for family and friends rather than yourself You know, it's easier from this perspective is that when it comes to fitting garments, and that's something you should do, you should always fit your garments. It's harder to fit garments on yourself and get a true feel of, 
you know where you need to make necessary adjustments and fits um but there's a way around that by using your you know camera and you know mirrors um so it is easier to make garments for family and friends and when it comes to fitting um or even customers fitting is a lot easier but after that no it's it's it's, it's about the same it's, it's just fit can be a really really and I'm sure you'll agree with me can be difficult um so from that perspective yeah it's um it's definitely about fit but i hope you do um go ahead and make um garments for family and friends and you know share that experience of um of fit because fit is essential when it comes to um sewing so um as i've mentioned the um opportunities within sewing um there is a stumbling block that i've now come across and also do my own research on the internet and speaking to um to other people is that there is a barrage of lots and lots and lots of um let's say video tutorials for beginners and it is hard for people who are now intermediate level on where they go next so um, in my emails i've kind of been recommending to people that perhaps if there's nothing online that is um meeting your requirements or what you're looking for then the, perhaps the next thing would be to look into your local community and perhaps go to um you know your local college and see if there's a course there that can um, take your skill levels up a notch to more advanced. Or still, you could challenge yourself um, through making sure the skills, techniques that you don't have and, and make notes about it. And hopefully, if that is the case that you can't find a course, in your local community that's a way of you um, helping yourself so it's kind of like teaching yourself the next levels in which to go to um, another question Georgia asks I'm on a tight budget is it expensive to start sewing oh, good question but because you're on a tight budget doesn't mean and this goes back to what I was saying before is that people think it's cheap to make your own clothes for many reasons and it's so not it can be if you think of it long term and you're making your own clothing and because you're making your own clothing you have a life you are fitting fashion sewing into that lifestyle you're therefore making less clothes that you wear that much more often because you made it and you need to show it off versus you following the trends and every six weeks there's a new trend that you've got to you, you've got to be sporting you've got to be wearing so if you think of it in those terms is that making clothes for yourself is not a cheaper option making clothes for yourself is about making beautiful clothing and if you think about it long term it does become um inexpensive because of what I've just said and also the fact that you are doing yourself justice by making your own clothes because you're in that creative mind and we all need to be there and also I don't want to go into politics or anything like that but we are part of that process of sustainability because we're making we are not adding to the landfill of clothes that have been you know destroyed because they're not being sold so um yeah that is that is that is so important that is so so important that we now need to i hope that you put the message out there that we need to have more people on board making their own clothes and um, designing their own patterns setting up their businesses whether it's going to be sewing for other people or creating their own clothing line we we the fashion industry fashion sewing industry can get that message out there that people can make their own clothing and it doesn't necessarily means it's cheap and it doesn't necessarily means it's expensive it just means that if you think of it long term there is that balance 
there is that balance and I think we need we just need to remember that so going back to um, intermediate um, level um, people who are struggling with finding um, courses to um, bring their skill levels up it is it, it really is at the moment as far as I'm aware um, but it is a case of doing your research and also um, if it's a case that there is nothing out there in your community then it would be you teaching yourself and it can be done don't be discouraged about the fact that you don't think it can be done it can be done the process may be a little bit um, longer but plan I'm all about planning so it yourself love it wear it and share it that's what I'm about and that's what I'm hoping I put out through my videos um, of all the techniques possibly that you could use in a project come to the channel and you'll find it there um, another question Terry asks I'm an intermediate sewer with 15 years experience but feel I've still got lots to learn could you suggest how I go about it it it's 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 it's, it's it will be going into your community and um, finding the course hopefully that would be a way forward or books um, yeah and challenging yourself and uh, let, let me clear up the challenging yourself the challenging yourself is you don't have the skills but you want to make this certain project learn the techniques that are involved in making up that project and have a, um, a checklist and then do a practice garment once you've done that practice garment you are building your skills i come from an experience is that my mom taught me how to sew and from then it's because i became a lot more creative because my mom um she's a great great um fashion sewer um, I'm going to say dressmaker because she prefers to, <laughs> she prefers the terminology of dressmaker um, is that I took the route of wanting to be a lot more creative in what I was doing and um, I didn't go to university in order to help me become uh, much more creative in how I wanted to style my garments or challenge myself I always challenged myself and I always enjoyed that process of trying to figure out how to twist fabric how to manipulate fabric you know how to you know remove the dart from here to here and removing darts and replacing them with something else and you know perhaps in putting you know there's so many different things that you can do with um with, with designing and sewing and it and it was really and truly about me challenging myself it wasn't a case of me going to a college or anything that I'm learning and that's how I did that's how I became a lot more confident um, and it's I enjoyed the process of actually teaching myself how to sew as well and that's probably not isn't isn't for everyone um, but for those of you who are out there do do challenge yourself and if you're not it's okay to challenge yourself from project to project. So do give that an opportunity to grow your skills at that level by teaching yourself. And then share, share it with the community. That would be that would be so amazing. If you need feedback, then you know, share it with the with the community. Come and share it with me on my channel and um, let me know in the comments um, what it is that you are challenged by. And hopefully, you know, with um, more live super chats, I can, um, you know, help you out in that in, in that direction. And let's see if we can actually build this kind of um, momentum of making sure that there is help out there for intermediates. Because I am finding that from my experience that it doesn't seem to be. And I've done a little bit of research and that seems to be the case. And I'm trying to work myself around that as well so that I can produce um, videos in order to get to the next step now because I think I've got I don't know over 200 videos which which are beginner and intermediate because they are techniques of how to you know sew a button and you know zippers and stuff like that so it will help you through your process if you're working through a sewing pattern for example and um, but it's it it is um, time consuming in order to do video tutorials and I don't think a lot of people actually understand how 
it's it is seriously difficult to to do um video tutorials and have you know camera angles at certain steps and uh it is a long process and i think i might even do a video about that to let people know how how difficult it can be but i love doing it and i love putting it out there as well i've got another question Debs asks is there a future in sewing when there are so many cheap clothes available is there a future absolutely there is there is a sewing revolution that's happening right now. So yeah, there is a place for sewing. And in, you know, one of the one thing that gets me is that um, I used to watch a lot of uh, fashion shows from top designers in the world, Paris, London, Milan, and um, you always hear the, the uh, designers being interviewed. And one thing that always gets me, always, always, always gets me, and I'm sure you may agree or disagree, I hope you agree, um, is that fashion designers say that they sew for all types of women. Sorry? And I'm like, okay, so if you're sewing for all types of women and your clothes are for all types of women, women, why are all the women wearing the clothes trying to sell to us that this is going to look amazing on us. I'm not getting it. Unless I'm missing something and you can tell me, I'm just not getting it. But we, in the fashion sewing industry, we are so rocking our body shapes. Yay! You know, that's fashion. That is, that is fashion sewing. You know we need to keep it up there is a momentum the fashion industry are going down the path of cheap clothing they're going down the path of techniques that when you look into garments and turn them inside out you if you if you know what you're looking for it's it's like seriously this will not last two washes and it's it's, it's just amazing yes there is a growing trend in making your own garments keep that trend growing and also consider taking your skills to the next level if you are that type of person that you want to set yourself up in business and that is going to be the way forward so cheap clothing yeah it has it will have its limit and the more that people realize that making your own clothes is is an opportunity of making beautiful clothing it's an opportunity of being creative it's an opportunity of um, your creative mind being um, not too lazy and waking up those old gray matters and getting that active so there is lots of opportunity of making your own clothes don't think that the only thing is fashion and cheap fashion another question how do you sew pleats in a waist belt how do you sew pleats in a waist belt in a waist belt right I'm assuming you're probably thinking about a cummerbund if you I've, I've got a video to talk on um, sewing pleats um, I would say knife pleats you know the hardest thing about doing um, video tutorials on YouTube is that if you mention pleats pleats can fit into different types of garments and different areas of the garments so try and use the video tutorials that um that just say one specific thing and then kind of allow that specific thing be part of the project that you're working with so it is a case of just folding your fabrics folding your fabrics and if you go to my um i do believe it's on a playlist and it could be not no it will be knife pleats you need to think about okay thank you all for joining me um, I've enjoyed having this this moment in which to kind of like just get off my chest about the misconceptions of sewing and where fashion sewing is going so um, if you have any ideas that, that you want me to do for um, any live YouTube super chat do put those in the chat um, do check out uh, one or two of um, of my video tutorials that I have on my channel and as I said I have, I've enjoyed it I've enjoyed getting this off my chest I've enjoyed kind of like allowing you guys to know what 
is kind of on my mind and hopefully we keep the conversation going and let people realise that um, there's more to uh, fashion sewing than just thinking it's a cheap option to making clothes. So um, I'm going to call it a night and wish you all well and I will see you next time.